Hi, my name is Linnea Ann, also known as Mimi, also known as Ann, also known as Miss Blotfish, and no, that is not my real last name. Um, today, I'm going to be reading from Mark 15. It will be Mark 15, 1 from Mark 15, um, 41. And it's going to be four versions of the Christ story. It will be the King James Version. The New International Version, NIV, New Living Translation, NLT, and New American Standard Bible, NASB. NSB. So let's get, in, let's get on into it. And straight away in the morning, the chief priests had a consola consolation with the elders and scribes and the whole council bound Jesus and carried him away and delivered him to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Out thou king of the Jews? He, and he answered, saying, Thou sayest it. And the chief priests accused him of many things, but he answered nothing. And Pilate asked him again, Answer thou nothing? Behold, how many things they witness against thee. But Jesus yet answered nothing so that that Pilate marveled now at the at that feast he released unto them one prisoner whom they desired and there was one named Barabbas which laid bound with them that had been insurrected made insurrection with him who had committed murder in insurrection and the multitude crying out began to desire him to do as he had ever done unto them. But Pilate answered them, saying, Ye will, will ye that I release unto you the king of the Jews? For he knew that the chief priests had delivered him for envy. But the chief priests moved the people that he should rather, rather release unto them a brow that is unto them. And Pilate answered and said again unto them, What will ye then I shall do unto him who is called the king of the Jews? And they cried out again, Crucify him. Then Pilate uh, unto them, Why, what evil has, hath he done? They cried out the more exceedingly, Crucify him. And so Pilate willing to content the people, released Barabbas unto them and, and delivered Jesus when he had scourged him to be crucified. And the soldiers led him away into Hall, Copertorium, and they came to gather the whole band, and they clothed him with purple and plaited a crown of thorns and put it onto his head and began to salute him, Hail, king of the Jews, they smote <coughs> him on the head with a reed and did spit upon him and bowing their knees, worshipped him. And when they had mocked him, they took off the, and when they had mocked him, they took off the purple from him, put his clothes on him, then led him out to the crucify him. And they compelled one Simon, a steward, Cyrenian, who passed by, coming out of the country, the father of Alexander Rufus and Rufus, to bear his cross. And, and they bring him unto the place of Gagutha, which, which is being interpreted the place of a skull. And they came, they gave him to drink wine minged with myrrh, but he received not it not. And when they had crucified him, they placed his garments, casting lots upon them, what, e what every man should take. And it was the third hour they crucified him, and the the superscription of his uh, accusion 
was written over the king of the Jews. And with him they crucified two thieves, the one on his right and the one on his left. And the scripture was fulfilled, which said it, he was numbered with the transgressors. And they, and they that passed by railed on him, wagging their tits, saying, Ah, thou that destroyest the temple and build it in three days, save thyself. Come down from the cross. Likewise, also the chief priests mocking among themselves with the scribes. He, he saved others himself. He can't save. Let the, the, let Christ the King of Israel descend now from the cross that we may see and believe and that they and they that were crucified with him reviled, reviled him. You have to understand, I read Matthew right before this. So I'm I'm trying, I'm trying here. I don't think I'll be able to read um, the other versions right away. So I will get them up, but I won't be able to finish them right away, I don't think. But I will get, I'll do my best to get them up today. And you'll see them. But, um. <sighs> I'll just finish this real quick. And when the sixth hour was come, there was a darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at that ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, lama, lama ebachthani, which is being interpreted, my God, my God, why, ha why hast thou forsaken me. And some of them that stood by when they heard this, I heard it, said, Behold, he's he's called Elias. And one ran filled with a sponge full of vinegar and put it on a reed, gave it to him to drink, saying, Let alone let us see what Elias will come to take him down. And Jesus cried with a loud voice and gave up the ghost. And the veil of the temple went in twain from the top to the bottom. And when the centurion which which stood over over against him saw that he cried out and gave up the ghost. Truly, this man is the Son of God. There were also women looking afar, afar off, among them, among whom was Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, Delis and Jose, and Salome, who also, who also, when he was in Galilee, followed him and ministered unto him. Many other women which came up with him unto Jerusalem. So I will finish the rest of these. I will be work reading the rest of these um to you guys sometime today. I I apologize for not being able to continue right now. Um I need to rest. <laughs> I will also be doing uh Luke and John as well. Um but right now I just need to rest. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and may his peace be with you. May he walk you down the narrow path and be with you and guide you. Jesus loves you and I do too. Sparkle on my beautiful and wonderful sparkles.